So good afternoon, it's Tuesday afternoon. We've just signed the Wednesday video off. And I'm gonna start here. We're having more vehicles cleaned by the boys over there. So they must have made a good impression. So they clean the Sunny, they clean two grabs. I believe they clean Chelsea's car. I don't know how she's snipped right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> and they've cleaned, there's one more vehicle. What else they clean? Sunny, two grabs, no trucks today. Chelsea. Is that it? That's it. And then they're back next Tuesday, so I think it's going to be a Tuesday thing. So they're going to clean whatever's here on a Tuesday. Keep them nice, top talk, nice and clean. I can't wait to get back in that sun because it's absolutely yeah. gorgeous when you get back in them. But yeah, I'm going to leave here. We're going to get locked up and then I'll catch up with you in the morning. In the morning, I'm on a bit of delivery, I'm doing some mad panels. In fact, I'm going to show you the panel. Look at these bad boys. Um, they do not look very big on camera. But there's six foot posts behind. <laughs> six foot posts behind, eight foot. So we're gonna have to get them on the trailer with, we're gonna overhang a little bit either side. And I think we're gonna have to put some yellow vests or some marker tape. Here's Finbar, give us a wave, Fim. Hey, Jim in? Yeah. Oh, that's not very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go, a lot more effort. So yeah, that will be delivered tomorrow. I'll show you when we deliver them. Me and Ant are going to do them. Steve's going to do a delivery in the morning. Uh, are you in fencing again, aren't you? Fencing. Yeah, fencing again. Bring you around so you can see our faces. Fencing again, and I'm on the driveway. And then the drop crossing on Thursday. I wasn't meant to be on the driveway today, but the weather has been absolutely terrible. So yeah, we'll catch back up in the morning. morning what, what day is it mate it's wednesday. wednesday it's wednesday morning <laughs> it's wednesday morning and me and my good man and i've just done what the 8x8 yeah eight foot by eight foot eight foot by eight foot picture up here we took a picture for socials we didn't video it because uh, we didn't know what the customer was going to be like in the situation but yeah unloaded brought man plant trailer Put two vests on either, either corner because they overhang. What was it, about a foot? Yeah, by about a foot. About a foot. That was weird. The truck is the same width as the trailer, and because some of the roads were tired, you have to judge how that's going to go through. Unless you pull the trailer, I don't think you'd realise. It, 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 it was difficult. You always had to watch your mirrors a bit more than normal. And we drive HGVs as well, and it's a lot easier because the HGV is a lot. It's the same width for the front it is at the back, if that makes sense. But yeah, we're just getting strapped up now. Hans going to put that bit of wood in the back because it'll be bouncing off the back of the trailer, won't it, mate? See, that's it. See, see. <laughs> but yeah, we are on driveway today. Steve's on a lovely job today. Absolutely lovely job. He's on a fencing and camp rail job. Drop crossing tomorrow. Got plenty of content coming. Plenty of content coming your way. But first job is get back to the yard, get loaded up for our driveway. So I did say we'll catch up at the job, but Ant is doing the uh, Tetris, aren't you, mate? Are you good at Tetris? Tetris, yeah. Yeah. Finn's not very good at Tetris. I'm good at Tetris. So it's, you have to, we love this trailer and Chris at Server Truck will not mind me saying it's been in every video. So yeah, since we've had it, we've absolutely used it and used it and used it. That's the thing about DJ. I like to buy stuff which we're going to use, and I like stuff which is multi-purpose. So this is a plant trailer, and we can fit loads on it as well. It's a three and a half ton plant trailer, so roughly it can carry about two and a half ton on it. But yeah, it's Tetris because it's got no sides and back. Probably we will adopt it or do something with it i would like a box trailer three and a half ton up box trailer so that's our, probably going to be our next purchase three and a half ton up box trailer jamie's looking at me because he needs some space for this now so probably we will move them tools there and stick it on here but yeah we're going to get loaded up and then we'll be on our way so we are on site we have got starbucks i don't i don't buy starbucks starbucks too expensive <laughs> must be paying this man too much you bought the, you bought the starbucks haven't you mate i did yeah, so he got Jordan one as well. We just missed Jordan. I've been on the phone doing some business meetings. Uh, Dane's Low Boys are coming on Friday. Hopefully I can catch them. 
uh, another good YouTube channel, just taking off, do similar kind of thing to us, they make the concrete blocks, uh, they've got a bit of a yard setting up at the minute. So yeah, if you are interested in their content, head over there, Dane's low boy. So yeah, they're gonna be here Friday, hopefully I can catch up with them. It's a, I'll do my best to get back, but I know what jobs I've got on. And we are down today because it's raining. But yeah, what we're doing today, let me spin you around. Ant and Jordan, just put a load more stone in. We've saved a bit of stone there because this this bit here is coming out tomorrow. So we're doing the drop crossing tomorrow and we will need a bit of stone. But I'm gonna set some string lines up and see to make sure we're right height with stone. Then we can whack this. Uh, it's gonna be a four and one mix. We are putting blocks round the edge. Then we're gonna do the slabs retain a little tiny bit of sandstone ball wall stone i think they call it around there which i've got a little pile up there and i've got some bits here that one there is going to go on the end of here and then we are sorting this wall out the best we can just return it square it up tidy it up make it look nice and neat what's that in the rubbish rubbish and bag. Rubbish, and rubbish bag some people always say oh you put a uh, a board out I always leave the bag like that so we can see what we are working here. And we've got a good reputation in Nottingham anyway, so. Anne's gonna set the mixer up over there, we're gonna set it up over there. I'm gonna put the string lines in and then we're gonna get cracking. So we've cut that out. I've got a little trick for that. I've just seen on, on Facebook. So tomorrow I'll uh, finish that edge and show you how it's done. So it makes it a nice light finished edge like that instead of a nice sharp edge. I'm gonna lay that in there, see what that looks like. And it's his first time on a steel saw, so he's gonna cut that. I marked them up for him, get them slabs, and then we'll, he can mark them slabs just up behind him there. And he can uh, cut a mark and I'll lay them. And then literally it's just the blocks, but look at that bit, it started raining, hasn't it? So we'll get as much done as possible. We need to get it done anyway. we have it what we do we leave it all sticking out when it starts going off we will point it all back on take take it back a little bit so we've got a bit of a mix there going on and going to get me another mix and he's going to start cutting them i think i'll get this section in we'll tidy it up and then we'll catch up uh, i can't remember what film last i've had a, a, a terrible headache still got an headache so affected my i've had to get myself some paracetamol and loads of water so it has affected the filming situation, but I will show you what we have done, what we have completed. Uh, I'll spin you around now and you can see the transformation. So we've put the blocks in. We had a bit of a problem with the blocks. I've lined it up 
I don't know what you guys would have done. I've lined it up to the pillar over there. But the person who's on the drive here, I'm not calling anyone, has stepped it in. So before, it wouldn't have been a problem. So I've explained that to the customer. The customer's totally happy with that. We were going to frame it, totally frame it, but it would have looked even worse. So this is what we've done. We've tidied the edge up there with some of his nice black stones that we saved. We've cut that like that. Like I say, tomorrow, I'm going to show you a little trick, what I've seen, to sort that out. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I just have to chip away at it a little bit. We filled them in. He wanted it a little bit further without replacing the whole patio. That's the best we could do. We've put a slab over there. We've put a slab over there and we've blocked all the way around that redstone there is to build it up where it needs building up. And we've got the drop crossing tomorrow. We turned the wall best we could. That will look a lot better when it's dry. Save the big, I don't know what you call them header the big one so it ties in really that that one cracked but i left it in there so i didn't have really anything else on i like the look of that one at the end so yeah that is it we're all strapped up we are ready to go i think ants in the cab already so yeah so that's another day at Enjoy. We'll see you in the morning, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome to the video. It is, what day are we on? Wednesday. And uh, who remembers this one? Curving the fence, just it. Yes. Absolutely chucked it down one of the days when we did this. Not bad, not bad. But we are dropping off or have dropped off a six by three panel for the boys over at BP Paving. There they are, look. Just there, look. Dancing away to the music, that's what we like. But yeah, of course, another superb driveway from the boys. But we are on the fencing install, so let's get there. First bay is in, guys. There was no fencing here, it's already ripped down, but this is a seven and a half, that's a six inch gravel board fence install. We've been asked to go to, can you see the same height as that feverage board right there? We've gone to the same height. And we're gonna do concrete fencing, style fencing from there, there, up to here, up to right here. There will be a timber post somewhere here as well because the rest of this, where it goes onto a big mountain hill is going to be cant rail fencing at six foot six. Basically, what is there right now? Customer wanted cant rail here because it's a bit more pleasing to the eye than big drops like that. I did explain that obviously we would have probably done sloping panels there, probably from there, sloped it all the way down and then stepped. But obviously, this customer at the time didn't go for that. This customer once the camp rail to match in with the back as well because he's got a big big camp rail there but look at this that is unreal a monster to wash it down with as well that is absolutely crazy guys unreal behavior thank you so 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 much really does mean the world to us it's crazy that the amount of support that we get on this channel it's crazy so much love really do appreciate it guys thank you so so much uh yeah that's all i can say big shout out to you buddy you know who you are you'll be watching the video i'm sure but thank you so much for letting us do your fence install and just looking after the boys and girls at the and j projects so we're gonna look after you with a lovely fence install thank you mate custom bay for this one to make it work because the grounds are at different levels so yeah custom bay for that one and it's camp rail next i think we'll start uh hmm. well i can get a post in there because that's getting attached to that one as well 
and then it's that one over there that's got to come down so we'll go across and then down and then across so a little sort of bit like that should be all right guys so here we go then guys we are cant rail fencing customer wants this one uh to run level across then shoot down so rather than a slight angle down he wants it to be basically at that height which is six foot six uh, so it's going to seem tall this side but then it's going to shoot down again because uh, they like to sit in this slab area that is a okay with us just means we've gone a little bit taller there because obviously normally you're just naturally stepping down just a little bit but we're doing this one straight then we shoot down so it's going to seem tall up here but it's going to be in privacy for these and these over there as you can see you can see the windows right there you're only just going to be able to see it when we put the boarding on but we've got the first three posts in that is obviously being cut off just there and then what we're doing because we're here hang on because we are hitting this all of the normal say and it's in a very windy spot right now what we're going to do we're not going to cut the rails in the centers of the coast we're doing them full full shalong basically and then the next rail will sit next to it shooting down so we're going one above one below just to make sure that rather than putting sorry if it's too windy by the way but rather than putting half a rail on the post and then the next rail on the post with it and only basically having that much in the post we're using the full four inch on both rails sorry if that was long-winded but that's what i want to do on this job to give it as much support and strength as possible let me know if you would do the same down below but yeah it's windy my hair's look at this crazy oh god let's cover these bold spots right Close. let's get some with clicky fingers Custom panel there. Post somewhere around about here. Just spent the last half an hour, maybe 40 minutes on that bad boy. Good morning and welcome to the day at d and J. I I am migraine free today, obviously yet. I think my stress levels are a little bit high at the minute. So I think I'm just getting myself worked up and giving myself an headache. And it's been an absolute start. He has loaded everything up. The rollers at James, as I totally forgot the rollers at James. So we've really got to pick the roller up and then we have got drop crossing, driveway. Stevie has gone with the lads to start with to go on the fencing, then he's joining us. Jordan Ward's gone out to do a couple of grabs and he's going to go and grab our tarmac. And it's going to be a good day, a pleasant day, a happy day. We're going to have fun, aren't we, mate? We are. We're going to have fun because that's what we do at DJ Projects. We always have fun. So, first stop will be James's. So we're not James's, we're on the job. And I don't know how I've managed that, I've managed to be on my own. So what we have done, we've picked the roller up. Uh, I've had a phone call, PMI's done on the grab. So I dropped and off to, to grab the grab. And then he's gonna come out in his car because he's got physio this afternoon. So I could set the signs up, uh, and start getting everything prepped up, and then we can start the drop crossing when he gets here. So yeah, end up on my own. But, the lovely customer is bringing me a cup of coffee out, so that's a bonus. See that time lapse, did you? So, kibs are in. We've had a bit of snap, and we're just starting to spread the stone around while we wait for Jordan. Stevie's on his way to give us a hand with this one because he's finished his job, and he's going to bring the tool out. What you need? Let's just do that edge. Yeah, it's tarmac time, so we're just going to spread this stone up. When Stevie gets here, we'll catch up. Oh my god. Customer is looking after us crazy. A monster to wash it down with. 
Big shout out, buddy. Thank you so, so much. We've got rails, camp rails, kickboards, looking good. Neighbours is nice and tidy now. Just a few little rakes to do for them. Yes, it's looking good. Obviously, I told you before dinner, guys, that Custom wanted to keep this section level rather than run with the ground. So this is what I've done. So we've railed it off, but to keep it level over there, we had to lift up, obviously, the kickboard, which is not a problem. But then we've just put an extra kickboard just behind so that Doggy can't get out. That was the key. Because obviously you can see how far the kickboard is in the ground down there at basic level with slabs obviously we'll go too low we just won't be at the height that customer wanted we've done six foot six six inch kickboard six foot feather edge running across angled down running across matching the same height as the fencing it's gonna look very very nice we're gonna have this and we're gonna start railing so here we go then guys the straight part all running straight across that's what we're after sitting on a straight level kickboard get your level oh sorry get your kickboard level then they're all gonna run straight aren't they all leveled we level every single one of these feather edges it's just we come to the the slope where it goes down the hill now and obviously the hill the slope down that's not a problem i'm just not happy with the gap that's forming underneath it so what i'm going to do of basically when you're putting something in straight that runs downhill you're obviously going to put it down and then there's always going to be a kickoff a kickoff like that what i'm going to do that bottom rail I'm just going to move it down so it sits on top of the kickboard so at least when you see through like that you're not drawn to the lie and it's a uh, casting in the shadow basically so that's what we're going to do so they're not nailed in one two three four i think five four or five aren't nailed in we were just testing it now we're going to move those rails down and whilst we're doing this me and jackie boy scotty to what he's doing a splendid job and tidying up the whole garden so big shout out to Scotty to what are you in the comments. But yeah, I want to move that rail down. Looking good guys. Gonna get this panel in. Coming back on Saturday, me and Scott have got a fencing installed on Saturday morning. We're gonna put some limestone chippings down the back of where these gravel boards are and down the back of this gravel board. Give it a bit of a drainage system. Uh, yeah, should look good. This was already soil, but yeah, looks good. Happy with this solid as well that's always nice i'll show you from this side in a hot seat i'm happy with this one very happy you see what we mean as well guys now you can't see through we've put in the beam there looks better better for both sets neighbor customer much better on saturday gonna bring a strip for that um maybe a bit of limestone down here but definitely on the opposite side yeah, I'm happy with that one, guys. But hopefully, customer is happy as well. That's what it's about. That is what it's about, guys. I uh, just need to get the tape measure for that strip, just so I've got the measurement. Um, yeah, another one done and dusted. I do believe I'm going to be helping Dad on the drop crossing. So yeah, I'm sure I'll see you when we get there. pop off like that to give you a bit of an edge rather than a cut see how it looks more natural now guys rather than a straight cut that'll be why so that'll work his way down there 
in these magic fingers, it'll be done. So now, it's all natural looking. Look at the one on the side, look. Look at this. Natural, straight into a natural cut. But obviously, they've cut round that. That is a great tip, and Dad found that on Facebook. So a big shout out to Facebook. It's all about the details, devil's in the details. 100%. Probably we're better on the smaller slab. I've seen them on the 20 foot slab. These are a bit thick. These are like old school slab, I mean, these are about 30 year old. Yeah. It's like it used to be before someone got involved in like making money, like realizing get two slabs out of one. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three slabs out of one. Yeah. <laughs> also, what would you do, guys? I think I've said that what they're going to do with the plants. What would you do? What would you put in the tops? It Different coloured? gonna have a bit of fencing on top but now we've done it oh yeah i've seen that in the video yeah. actually yeah well, i suppose i talked him out a bit because i think we'll spoil it yeah he did say that on the video didn't you yeah i think it's spoiled a look i think we're a few i mean if they wanted to get us taller plants yeah a little hedgerow yeah little hedges or the only thing with them they're expensive hedgerows you can have little box plants can't you but they're evergreens yeah. evergreens and old plants that easy mm. to look after them a yeah. running over. A lot of people have said good things about this wall. Someone has asked, where can I get them? What I'll do, Steve, you can put the link in the thing and I'll, I'll put the website for it. It's called Terror Block. Yeah. And it's at Miss Leaford, I think, out near Lincolnshire. Do you know how much it is per like metre or like that? No, but I'll find out. Yeah. yeah. If you want you to know, you've got to remember that obviously there's no, no mortar involved, is there? No. Just got to get your bed right. Yeah. It's all about the bed, level bed. Yeah. But you, you can still put a screed on and mess them up about it. Very nice. Very nice indeed, guys. But we're waiting for Jord. And then, yeah. Turn the time after the BT boys. Yep. And yeah, then it's coming straight here. Sound. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the time lapse guys, but the base coat is down. I'm not sure, but you're gonna have a time lapse now. So we're all based up guys, now it's just topping, but yeah, top this off and then this will be done and then we'll work our way along there and finish it off. You used to stop this world from spinning, like Superman you were the only one to find. Strengthen all that I was dealing with this life like kryptonite. Extension. Yeah. Do you think there's going to tone down as well? Yeah, but do you think there's going to be comments of like one's blocks, one's tar back? No. Serves the purpose. We've never matched them blocks up, so it's going to look like. 
They look well out of place. I think it looks better like that. It does look good. When it tones down, I'm going to be in face in a minute, isn't it? Mm. When it tones down, uh, like the walling up the road, can you drive that way? You can show them that wall, I did promise I showed the wall. Yeah, I'll show them. Yeah, when it's toned down like that, with a bit of a, uh, I think it's algae and green, and it will blend right in. I think it looks good. And it's exactly what the customer wanted. Yeah. He wanted extra parking because it's permit parking on this road. Really, really bad. Because the centre of Arnold is just a... And it doesn't have to squeeze the car right up past that because yeah. it's tight. It does look tight, yeah. It's mega tight. He could turn Loads of room, yeah. He could turn his car around up there and then drive back down. He drives up with the wind mirrors in. Yeah. Turns it around up there and drives back down. <laughs> So yeah, this one is complete. If you do like this one, leave a comment down below. Yep. Yeah. I'll if see you don't like this one. Let us know what you think about that. Leave us a comment down below. If you think it's an excellent job, leave us a comment down below. If you think it's a poor job, leave us a comment down below. So yeah, we are done at Stevie's Barbers. Yep. And Barbers at half past seven. What time is it now? It's nearly your barber time, mate. So 10 to 2, you're at quarter past uh, five. five. Yeah. yeah, I'll show them the wall. Oh, I'll get a trim. Boys are coming tomorrow. They're in the area. Well, they said in the area, it's only two miles away from us, so that, that's not in the area to me. <laughs> <laughs> close enough, though, close enough. <laughs> yeah, I think they're picking a digger up or something, so they're going to pass by and see. It's, it's, it's a good job tomorrow for you. Really good job, post job. So All right, stay yeah. tuned, watch the rest of the video. You're going to see in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to see a brick wall first. So, yeah. Oh, who's right. sparkling water as well? My God, they've done me rotten there. I haven't brought this. Yeah. Sparkling. Sorry. Make your tabs buzz. Yeah, I'd have to put some dilute with that and make it like fizzy pop. Horrible. Yeah. That needs Rabino. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, Rabino. But yeah, I suppose that's another day at D&J. We'll see you in the morning, guys. No, no. In fact, I'm going to show you the blocks and then we'll see you in the morning. Oh, yeah. Let's go see the blocks. Yeah, we'll see the box. There's the wall. All weathered in. Looks lovely. But on that note, it's another day at d &J. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is Friday. Boy, I'm looking forward to this Friday. Well, I'm working tomorrow, but end of working week, really. Grab is looking clean, nice and tidy. Everyone didn't notice in the comments compared to that one. And that one, this is clean. That one's getting done next week, but PMI, so we'll drop that today as well. We've got loads of stuff to crush, so we'll have plenty of crush going on. But my first job is I've got some hardcore to load up. Ant's going out with a baby grab. This is the advanced zone of baby grab and big grabs. You can only get a baby grab in this location. So what Ant is going to do, he's going to take the baby grab in, grab them up, because there's two there, grab it, bring it out. I'm going to drop the stone on the back of him take the muck off the back of him then he's going to drive back in tip the stone do another grab bring it back to the yard so otherwise it would be three trips for him so yeah that's what we're doing we're doing the vehicle checks grab some stone and then meet up so like i say i'm just come out of there nice and tight for him and then i'm going to grab all this off and i'm going to transfer the stone over so i'll start at the front grab that off and then transfer the stone over as we're going so now we've transferred it all over so I'm just going to take that now up there and tip it off. I'm going to take this back to the yard and meet the Dane Low Boys. Who's this beast then? So this is the Dane Low Boys. If you're not already, head over to their channel, Dane's Low. They do all kinds of content. It looks like they've been buying. These boys like buying as well. A lovely... Uh, Five and a half ton. Lovely little job. I don't know where they are. So the day low boys. He's missed them. He's missed them. So like I said earlier, if you haven't already, give these guys a watch, a follow, subscribe. Yes, thank you very much, Dave. And remember, guys, it's free to do that. It's it is free. free. Subscription. Free. There's not a lot of free in the world. Yeah. But today, we're giving you the chance to subscribe for free. Yeah. We can't talk for other YouTubers, yes. but for us, it's, it's free. definitely free. <laughs> and I've got some stickers. You have, mate. You have. So I think at the bottom of that door, I'm going to stick one on, yeah, on every single grab. And then I might put one in the office as well. Yeah, do it. 
So every time you open a lobby door and you're filming, there they are. Brilliant. And it'll be just a reminder to go and subscribe to their the channel. Cambridgeshire Mongols. The Cambridgeshire Mongols. <laughs> <laughs> is that what we're going to be known as now, is it? For 75,000 people. <laughs> Nance there waiting for me. Oh, you mate. You're waiting for me, having your snap. And we have got a grab to do we're and some up, roast stone. We're holding you up. You're not holding me up. It's a pleasure, guys. Absolute pleasure. So, hello, guys. Here we are on another install. It's myself and new man Jack right there. And. We are doing an interesting one today. Let me just show you. This big steel post is going in the center there and then we're gonna have another one there, there and there. So four posts aiming for this height, give or take. So we're gonna to go to the top or the bottom, see what we're thinking when we dig down. If we don't think that's deep enough, we'll go down a little bit more, another four inches. Um, one, two, three, four. And this is to stop any potential car coming through, smashing through the fence and going into the house. The reason we're doing this is that's almost happened before cars come flying around that bend straight into here. Somehow I missed this uh, lamppost. One of these concrete posts has fell over onto this customer's car. That's what no one wants, right? So customers decided to go with a steel post in the middle as a bit of prevention no cures guys i guess we just want a bit of prevention so that's what we're going to do we're going to start with this one and that one because it should be easier and then we'll do the harder part just there so let's get to it bit of concrete guys obviously curb urging. hello to my australian brothers and sisters how you doing so we're having a little drink and whilst we have a little drink, we're letting this post go off. Yeah, baby. This is what the customer's gone for. One of these. And what we've done, guys, we've gone for just below the beam. Can you see it just below the beam? In the centre. Obviously, level, plumb, straight, everything you want to call it. Uh, plenty of bags. There's actually two and a half, nearly three bags in this one just here. Nice and deep reason we've gone for just into the beam we were thinking about going below the beam but then we decided you know what we're not going to do that because if a car does come and hit this fence at least that beam is going to hit into this rather than break past it so that's the reason so we've gone for two points of contact rather than just one and obviously it's not as strong as it could be two points of contact a bit stronger of a post yeah because we wanted to do a job right guys there was a bit of concrete for about six inches um that's why we had the breaker but then it turned to the lovely soft sand this one i would assume is going to be the same so relatively straightforward nice and easy and then this bit here is where it gets trickier gonna have to still saw a square out just enough for our post holes but of course obviously this is here we're a bit restricted and we've got tarmac here so i've spoke to the customer and said of course i'll go center to center and once the um the con the, the concrete's out and the post is in i'll concrete this bit over up to the post and then if i have to go into the tarmac just to get the width of the post holes in then i guess we can put a little bit of bag tarmac down there when we've got some same for that one over there but we'll time lapse this one for you now Cause you stopped me from hitting the ground And every goal there was a meaning For this love and kryptonite And if you keep me close A minute in this hourglass you hold It's a bit windy guys, but uh, sorry if it's a bit messed up for you But you can see same drop off the 4B2 on the back and then magnetic level is pretty cool. See that? Can't sit myself. Yeah, baby, we're happy. All compacted in. And then what we're doing is just letting them go off. You see how it's going off. And if I feel like I want to top it up with some more, I will do. Chuck some rocks in, chuck some. Obviously, this is going to have a bit of soil on because obviously it's grass verge. Same as this one. 
this will be concreted up to the top. But yeah, solid. They already feel like you ain't wobbling that with just normal force. That's solid. Good, good, good. I like it. We could only get green, I believe. They look cool. In shape with the garden, aren't they? Now, these ones, whoa, hey, these are going to be tough. We're doing them as close as well, by the way. I don't even know, I can show you, let me show you. You see, yeah, as close as we can to the fence, but without touching. Same as that one over there, because it's not so much a problem here, it's here. We don't want to restrict the driveway, so we're making sure we don't go past this at all. So as close as we can go, basically, guys. But yeah, we need to cut, dig, break everything, a box here. It. Not touching. You can't get closer. So the concrete launched all the way over. You see how it was there, look. So we've still not hit the tarmac yet. It must go all the way up, look. Which, in to be fair, if I'm being honest, guys, has helped us out because it means. So if this is centre, I can cut back and take this bit out and go across. Oh, look at this little boy, man coming out of nowhere and I can cut here and I can take that bit of concrete and then concrete back in because obviously it's already got concrete up to the tarmac that has helped us out where are you going big dog I'm gonna help you I don't know where you're going though because you're in my way my phone's fell over twice because it's so windy That's going to drop it in. We haven't tested it yet. We're going to drop it in and see if we're just below. We can be slightly higher, slightly below. Remember, we can lift up post fix. Little dropper in, mate. That is perfect because we can slam it down, get it down half an inch, and then just ram it with three bags of post fix before we get to the concrete, in, guys. Concreted up, it's trying to rain, hopefully it don't affect it. But yeah, customers hopper. Hopefully, we never have to see if these work, right? Oh, uh, oh it's windy, my bad. Another one done though, guys. It's a fat Friday, guys. It's a fat Friday. Let's get this, get back to the yard. So then guys, we are back at the yard. That food's done me no good. I feel horrible. I do feel horrible. Yeah. I'm just about to say the grab to Oakfield. Jordan's grab, manual, big boy, 32 ton, eight wheel on. Yes. Yes, off to take that in. These boys are smashing it. In here, look, 12 foot post, flying them out the door. Big mould, ready for the Lego brick mould to get filled in. Smashing it as always, guys. Jim, looking a bit unused in there. Yeah. 
There she is, George Grab sitting pretty. Fun story, or funny story, Chelsea supposed to be picking me up from Oakfield. Uh, my dad drove out in the other Grab first, so my sister got in a car and followed my dad and aunt to uh, Orsworth, following the wrong Grab. And then she rang me and said, oh, I'm following the wrong Grab. I'm coming, I'm on my way. <laughs> so uh, I'll go add these keys in. We'll wait out for, for Chelsea. Pretty funny to be fair. So, yeah, hand these keys in. So, this one's an interesting one. You can see where I've come through nice and tight, and it's all the way over there. So, we'll video on the way out. So, I think we're just grabbing this little bit here, and then we have got some pea grabber to drop off. Nice little grab there. Hopefully I can get turned around in there. Matt seems to think I'll be able to spin around there, but when I'm looking at it, I don't think I will. But yeah, hopefully we'll get the grab back because I don't fancy it reversing all the way back up there. But I'm just going to sort that out. I'm just going to have a quick walk around with Matt. Potentially a bit of work for us to do here. Drivers and these drivers. <laughs> there was no way I was turning that round in that little space. Absolutely no way. I'm on private road as well, so on the private road we turned around. Same panic. So yeah, we're out. <laughs> we yard ban. Let's get back. You're mine, mine, mine. It's right, right, right. It's right, right. So that is us back, back and done. I think I might do a bit of filming tomorrow, see how Stevie feels about that. But if not, we'll catch back up with Stevie and we'll close the video off. So Stevie's made the decision, we're signing that out now. So, uh, yeah, I'll film a bit tomorrow then. I'll film a bit tomorrow for Wednesday. So you've got something to look forward to for Wednesday. It'll be a bit of Christian work. I'll set the tripod up and we'll do that. We had a good week. We've had lots of completions. We've had some safety posts. A bit weird, that one. It was alright, went smooth as butter. Oh, smooth as butter. Uh, driveway with the block wall in. Oh, it's a bit of sunshine, it's nice and finished, but it's actually light outside. Not starting in the dark and finishing in the light, it's absolutely morale picks up everything, it's just loads better. But yeah, that leaves it here. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop us a like, comment down below. Don't forget to go and subscribe to the Dean Low Boys. Uh, ever trade or the other every trade yeah it's, it's an ever trade around here and yeah. it's every trade that's why i keep being confused but yeah it's been a good one guys hope you enjoyed it we'll see you in the next one